Excellencies, the First Ladies of Africa, and um, the Chairman, Professor Dr. Frank, and CEO Dr. Senator Rasha. Uh, you, our distinguished guests, I want to say I'm coming out of an election which we had in August, this previous August, and my husband, um, President, Adim Nangagwa won the election and where I am coming in from. I want to thank the people of my country who gave him the other second term to run the country. And this has seen me now expanding and going further with what I had started in the past five years. Make Foundation, I want to say to you, you are a true and all-weather partner. You're coming into Zimbabwe with the educating of our, our doctors. You've seen our health system uh, to greater heights. And our doctors have benefited a lot, and the areas that we didn't have services are now serviced. And uh, this has also helped the First Lady's Office in uh, advocating more on health issues backed by the doctors that received education from MEC Foundation. And by so doing, I've taken back everybody back to school, regardless of age, so that they're able to talk to the doctors what is the problem with the health system. So it's now a very educated nation. I've also brought in the cancer awareness programs that women and girls have to be careful of. And we have vaccinated more than 800,000 girls in schools from the ages of 10 to 14 to reduce the cancer uh, problem that we are facing. And mostly, it's hitting uh, us as women. We have also the drug menace, which has hit most of the countries and um, Zimbabwe is not spared. I'm also working with the people who are living and working on the streets and with these drug addicts who I want to be off the streets and also their health system to be taken care of. Once they are in those drugs, they are not able to tell what is happening. And we have seen most of our youths dying the Infertile program that we started uh, long back with MEC Foundation, we received some funds which uh, were sent to these women and uh, they managed to have projects. Now they uh, own their own properties through this project from MEC Foundation. And they're also in the agriculture, which I formed Agri for She, only agriculture for women that are asking the government to give land to women to do farming to sustain their lives. And those women are in that group. And make foundation. We have found a husband for those women. Who doesn't? We men, husbands, those who don't beat, those who don't die. Because once you have given them empowerment, that's the life-sustaining uh, program that we look for in these women who are infertile because they are facing uh, hard blows both from where they were born and this acquired family. I'm also working with the dropout from school, you know, the girls that dropped out of school because of uh, COVID-19, which we have also given some projects of sewing and also saying stay in school by uh, going to school on daily buses. And the sewing machines that I've given, now they're able to make their own reusable pads, which they are now making for other uh, girls who can't afford and who can't have those uh, pads. And I've come up with a sewing factory, which I am now taking all the girls and uh, the infertile women, 
uh, the middle-aged uh, groups to come and have uh, the uh, lessons on cutting and designing then sewing, making their own garments. I've built a clinic in my rural area, which is catering for quite a number of people around where I was born. And some of the doctors who received this education from Mac Foundation are servicing that clinic with the expertise that they received from Mac Foundation. I'm also building a very big hospital in my country, which is named Mother and Child Hospital, catering from the old granny to uh, the baby, but all women. And the expertise of these doctors is going to serve in that hospital. So on that one, I am saying additional doctors, Dr. Courage, are also needed to serve my hospital in addition to what they are doing already. And I'm also on talk show radio, which they have dubbed Talks with Moms. Moms says, am I? But that's the language they use these days where I talk to them about how to look after themselves. Uh, do you know what you are suffering from? And um, you girls, are you able, women, giving them that strength and also the confidence of talking to other women? Are you able to stand or talk um, amongst other people, you know, advising or giving or uh, imparting that knowledge that you have? Do you have that confidence? All that we are talking it about it on radio. They ask me questions and I also, you know, uh, answer back and also involve them that inclusivity issue that we want to do, that we do in our country, not leaving any place or anyone behind. So, in a nutshell, Dr. Rachel. Russia. This is where we are now with MEC Foundation. The chairman, I want to thank you very much. And my sisters, this is the table where we share and that uh, we, uh, what I'm not, um, not yet done in my country, I take it from you after hearing what you are doing. So it's an encouragement around the table. I thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Her Excellency, the First Lady of Zimbabwe, Madame Oxella, and Dr. Agdella, and congratulations again for the BHD. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm so happy that when I came to Zimbabwe, uh, you, the, 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 the organization of everything and meeting the doctors and how the testimonies of the transformation of patient care after the graduation was amazing. The stories, it was really inspiring. Uh, until now, we, ha we provided 100 and three scholarships for doctors in many, many, many specialties, mostly focusing on women health, reproductive health, and oncology, uh, but also other things like diabetes and endocrinology and preventive cardio cardiovascular, obesity and weight management, respiratory and acute management, and pain management and palliative care, and infectious diseases. So many, many specialties. So, uh, and we are going to continue with you, with your support, because you are very much uh, um, a are passionate about providing the training for doctors and they are very grateful for that and they come back and work in the public sector and help the patients who cannot afford and this is the main thing so thank you very very much your excellency mm -hmm.